Hi guys, I've got a lot of my solar rockers out at the moment, my Halloween collection, and I've got quite a few of these guys. Um, I'll just check it works. Okay, so he works. Right. My longtime YouTube buddy, Mike Flight, sent me a box of bits that he's not going to make use of. In that box of bits, there are a couple of supercapacitors. And I thought, how about I connect up the solar panel in there to a supercapacitor, or at least put the supercapacitor straight across the solar panel, so that during the day, he will rock but at the same time, he'll also charge up the supercapacitor. And then at night, when the sun's gone down, he will keep rocking for a while on the charge that's stored in the supercapacitor. I have another one that does it, and it runs very well. It runs most of the night. Um, and on that one, I've got the supercapacitor outside. And I was looking at this fella thinking, there's probably enough room in there somewhere to actually hide that inside. So that's the plan. I don't know how easily you'll come apart. Don't recommend you use your nail to do it. Quite often they're glued just to make life awkward. My usual tool, rather than breaking me nails, is that it just doesn't want to come apart at the moment. There we go. A little bit tight at the back there. Okay, so if you've never looked inside, that's what you've got inside. Little solar panel. A circuit board and the coil and if you take one apart be very very careful the actual wires go into the coil and the coil itself are hair thin and you've only got to drop it or grab it accidentally and you'll snap those wires so if you're going to take it apart take care what I want to know is there enough room in there to get the supercapacitor in? You can't put it either side of there because that swings backwards and forwards. But I'm looking at it thinking there's probably just enough room there. And when I say just enough, only just enough. That's a bit tight. These are actually quite fat supercapacitors. I've got thinner ones of my own. But I'd like to make use of Mike's, being as he's given it to me. Right, plan A at the moment. Hot glue to hold that in position while it's still hot and melted. Push the top back on so that pushes itself because that's going to be pushing it in a little bit because of the shape of it. And then check whether everything's clear afterwards. So I won't do any soldering yet. I'll just heat up some hot glue, put a little dollop on there, put it in position, and then check it. The supercapacitor is hot glued in place but not connected up. Just want to check whether he swings freely. So I'm going to shine the light on him again. So he's swinging freely. So I've got a sort of a pinky colored wire there going to the positive, to the positive terminal on the circuit board. 
and the white wire go into the negative terminal on the circuit board. All right, if I shine the light on the panel, yeah, it's slowly going up. I'm going to edit an awful lot of this out. I had it all up together and it wasn't working. I've taken it apart, got the solar panel outside so I keep an eye on it, got the supercapacitor outside so I can measure it. And if I directly charge the supercapacitor, he runs. I've totally discharged the supercapacitor by shorting it out. And if we now go across it, you will see it is increasing in voltage by about a millivolt every few seconds. It's going to take forever to get up to, you need about one and a half volts. Because that's 0.145 volts at the moment. 0 0.146, 0 0.147, 0 0.148. So yeah, it is steadily charging. But at that rate, we're going to take days, I think. Um, I don't know whether it's just because it's a large supercapacitor. Um, well, large compared to the one that works for me, which was 5 farads. That one's 10 farads. That may be the issue. I don't know. Whatever it is, it is charging, but it's charging incredibly slowly. The other option is I pre-charge the supercapacitor and see if the power coming from the solar cell is enough to maintain its charge that'd be another option at the moment i'll leave it like this i'll measure its charge before i go to bed see how it's got on right uh, can we see the time up there no we can't okay you might be able to see he has started moving. Not much, but he is definitely moving. Uh, time is about quarter to one in the morning. I'm just off to bed. I thought I would check. So this has been charging from the halogen light bulb uh, for several hours now. I'll just see if I can put the uh, meter on it. 0.772 volts. <laughs> so we're not even up to a volt yet. But there is just enough. To get him rocking a little bit. So he is just beginning to rock. I think we have success. I left him under the halogen light all night, and this morning he's rocking away quite happily. I did measure that, and it was still under a full volt. But there's still enough on there for him to rock perfectly happily. So I now need to put him back together. All back together now, tucked inside, and he appears to be happy. It's a grey day, but the other solar rockers are going. So I'll put him back on the window ledge. Right, just gone six o'clock in the evening. Thursday is 24th of October. The solar light things are starting to come on. 
and the solar rockers have stopped apart from my fellow with his super capacitor so that's good I wonder how long he'll keep going just for comparison if we come back over here The surfer dude there is the one who's also got a supercapacitor. And the other two are running off um, solar lights. So that's quite pleasing. That project was driving me a little bit, uh, <laughs> a little bit crazy because I was having trouble getting him going. But I think it was simply because it's such a large supercapacitor, it took an awfully long time to get it charged up. But once it was charged up, it's fine. Now it's now eight o'clock at night, or five past eight. And he's still going. And for reference, Surfer dude still going as well. Now eleven o'clock at night. Surfer dude still going. And Mr. Pumpkinhead still going. You might notice I've coloured the back of him gold so I can tell the difference between him and the other ones that I've got there. I think that'll do for tonight. I'm not going to keep doing checks. Uh, yeah. 11 o'clock. So we've been going since at least, was it 6 o'clock I think was the first check I did. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.